Imagine you're standing on the summit of Britain's highest mountain, Ben Nevis. You look around, you have a spectacular view. You see everything, you think. What you would not see is this orange if it lay at the foot of the mountain. Incidentally, Ben Nevis relates to this orange and size as I do to a microalgae, just to give you a perspective of size. Microalgae consists of a single cell and make up the photosynthetic part of plankton. They do us a great favor by removing large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. But I'm not going to talk about all microalgae, just one, dinophyses, and it can do a lot more than just remove, remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It is in fact a mixotroph. That means that apart from doing photosynthesis, it can also go around and eat other algae, which can be quite handy. Dinophysis has a problem though. Its favorite prey is much faster than itself. But as quite as the little hunter, Dinophysis is packing an impressive weapon arsenal. For example, it can use a trap, um, uh, it can trap its prey in a net made of mucus. It can also use a body part as a sort of a poisoned harpoon. And with this harpoon, it shoots its moving prey um, and waits for the toxins to um, kick in. Once the prey stops moving, it pulls the prey in to eat it. But Dinophysis doesn't have any uh, teeth. So it uses the second function of this harpoon, which is that of a straw. And with this straw, it sucks the contents out of its prey. A predator with nets, harpoons, and poison that drinks its prey from a straw, what a relief that Dinophysis is not out to get us. Because something this small could not affect something as large as Benevis. But sometimes Dinophysis grows particularly well. And then so many of these toxic cells come together that they form a harmful algae bloom. The toxins start to accumulate in organisms like shellfish um, because they feed by filtering the water around them. The shellfish then become so toxic that they cause severe diarrhea in the humans that eat them. You can imagine that you cannot sell this shellfish anymore. So these blooms have repeatedly caused the shutdown of aquaculture and severe economical damage to local fisheries around the world. And these blooms have become more and more frequent over the last decades. Most of it due um, to warming uh, waters, due to um, climate change and high nutrient content in coastal waters, both caused by us. And uh, next time you're standing somewhere high up on a mountain, Remember that despite having a great view, the tiny things that you cannot see may have a much bigger impact on your environment than you may imagine.